guys, welcome to So You Want to Get Married. So You Want to Get Married is Table Talk where we talk about everything and anything to do with dating, relationships, and of course, marriage. Today, I've got some amazing guests in the building. We've got Tolu, she's a producer. We've got Manny, on air personality, and we've got Bakia, award winning actress. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you doing? Fine. Awesome. Okay, so today's topic is help. My friend can't find a man. Ah! Now, I'm sure you're thinking, what in the world does that mean? Well, I came up with the title because of a story my friend told me. And it goes like this. So she was dating this guy and, you know, they were getting along really, really well. And um, they'd only gone about three days. Nothing happened. They didn't kiss. Nothing had happened. They hadn't really done anything, right? But they really enjoyed conversations. They talked on the phone a lot. So after the third date, she hadn't seen him in about two weeks. Anyway, she was going to her friend's wedding. She knew the bride. And she gets to the wedding and she walks up to the reception area where the bride and groom is sitting. And she goes up to congratulate the bride and groom. She sees her friend. She's like, oh, congratulations. Greg, Greg hugs her, turns to say hi to the groom. And the groom is the guy she was on a date with like two weeks prior. Beautiful. Exactly. So <laughs> obviously she was shocked, didn't say anything. He looked at her and said, hi, nice to meet you. Turned his head and continued talking to somebody else. Mm. And then she was like, okay. Walks back out of the reception into her car. She said she sat in her car for 10 minutes mm. as if, did this really happen? Mm. And then yes, she did. drove home. Yes, I did. Sure now, did. my thing is, this is not the first time I've heard this kind of story. Mm. Yeah. Where a guy is getting married and Somebody was dating him, or they found her in the newspaper, mm. or on a blog that he's engaged to so and so person. Or he's even married. Yeah. Mm. So my thing is, so she was basically telling me the story and just saying that she was just tired. That, and so I coined it, help my friend can't find a man because this story has happened to more than has happened to more than one person. Mm. Now my question is, what is the issue here? Why does this happen? Who would like to start? You know, Manny, I'm going to put you on the spot. You're the, you're the only guy here. You're the only guy here. So I want to say from, I mean, I, I don't even know if I want to say from a guy's perspective, because I don't actually understand anyone's perspective, but sure. what do you think is the issue there? Firstly, I'd like to say, you know, in modern times, we have guilty trips, uh, mm. guilty pleasures. There are okay. so many of them. I can't count. All sorts. This is just, this falls into the line of one of them. We live in a time where we have guys who you know they just want to be in two places at the same time um, okay um, they have guys who in, yeah quite right we, yeah mm. <laughs> they want to have the sense of i can get away with things easily mm. after all i'm a guy you know mm. i mean the guy is always forgiven you know i, I think we we, we, li we live in a world in nigeria for example where guys are easily forgiven when they commit okay. or when they do things that are wrong and I therefore they you know that's an encouragement I could do something and say, oh, sorry, honey, I was just playing around, you know, I didn't mean it, you know, but vice versa, it's not the same thing. It can't happen. Yeah, you double know? standards. So, so I think it's because of the privileges we have as guys allows us to get away with things. Mm. Let me just start from that's that a, point. Okay, that, that's a very you know, interesting point. Yeah, because, because if you think of it seriously, mm. that guy would have done something even, who knows, for that, yeah. given the opportunity. And at the end of the day, what's his excuse? Uh, she came on me. She was all over me. You know, I, I couldn't control it. She was, and everybody will believe that is true. Mm. You know, 99% of the time, guy, people will say, you know, it's the other it's way the around. They'll say, oh, I'm getting married. I mean, you can imagine. I mean, she, she, I'm rich. I'm this. She came on Somehow me. Somehow the lady takes yeah. all the blame. Yeah, yeah, she takes all the blame. So yeah, I think the privileges we have are awesome. Mm. I, you know, awesome. Also, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I, in, my, in my next life, I'll come back and say that. Ah, <laughs> the privileges are too much. Yeah. You know, in yeah. different cultures, different Yoruba Yoruba houses, mm. you find out that like, the privileges men enjoy are yeah. really amazing. Mm. That's why they can just get if away with they things. Can get away with I, it, I'm yeah. telling you. Okay, wow. okay. Tell me what do you think? Well, uh, hi, Donovan. Hi. Thanks for having me. <laughs> no problem. I mean, it's really, uh, I hear you just said money, but my take on it is actually two ways. Okay. So you have a guy getting married. She, I mean, they all, they both live in Lagos. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's something going on with women out there. Like you're dating a guy, and you don't want anybody to think you're dating a guy. 
Yes. Out of fear or I don't want them to hear anything bad or blah blah blah. True. But Lagos is minus seventeen degree of separation. Yeah. If I don't know him, you know him. Someone if you don't know him, him. someone you know knows so him. So if you if you're trying to date in Lagos, you can't be keeping your mouth shut. You gotta open up your because I would have told you Don't he get married. Yeah. This is that should be now. My daddy, I'm coming <laughs> to the wedding with me. And how the hell do you know the bride? I don't know who else you're getting married to. Yeah. Excuse me for my friend. Yeah. So my point is, mm. yes, it's easy to always point the finger at, at the guy. Man. Yes, mm. it's easy. Men are the easiest targets, which they are number one target. I mean, men are just the wrong point blank people. <laughs> some, <laughs> some, some men. But as a woman, <laughs> you have the responsibility of protecting your own interest. Mm. So it's like, that need to not know, or trying to protect your heart is only going to get you hurt. So I would say, let everybody know, if you're dating a guy, I know there's a risk of, okay, it's not serious yet, but ask questions. You're better off just asking. Yeah. Yes, okay. and get as much information as you can before you move forward. Yeah, okay. mind before you go ahead, I just want to hear from Bikia, what do you think? To be honest, I, I think men are greedy, generally, mm -hmm. and as many women as they can get mm -hmm. here, they will get it. And as he said, the society makes men, um, what would I say? Very lassadacical in how they treat people. Okay. They just go on like, you know what, whatever. They don't care about anyone. They're extremely selfish. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just going to blame this generation. Yeah. I will blame just the culture because men are just like that. It's been passed down from one generation to another. But now it's even more so because as she said, people will hide things and all that. But you know what? Sometimes the woman is not hiding anything. I know of a case mm -hmm. where a girl lived with her boyfriend in London. They had been together for years. Yeah. She knew his family. A Nigerian couple? Yeah, a yeah. Nigerian couple. And she ended up buying Ashebi for his mother to open her house in Ibadan. But then found out that that Ashebi she oh, bought no. Stop. was the boy. Yes. So what was for his wedding? Was for his wedding? To somebody else? Yes, to somebody Yoruba? else. Yoruba? Yoruba? Yeah, Yoruba. What a Don't go there. What are you going to say? No, 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 I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Why is it Yoruba? Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think it's a tribe. Yeah, I don't think it's anything to do with tribe. I just think they're good people and they're bad people. You probably do know who Yoruba is. You probably know who I just think they're good people and they're bad people. You probably do know who Yoruba is. You probably know who Yoruba is. You probably know who Yoruba is. You probably know who I just think they're good people and they're bad people and there's some people who will just take other people for granted because they can. Yeah. And another thing is sometimes what we have to make it our responsibility, as she said, to look out for ourselves yeah. because people will only do to you what you allow them to do. You know. So I just think the blame is not just on the yeah. on the women or on the men, yeah. but it's a collective. Yeah. It's a collective. I mean, Vicky, you're right yeah. when you said it's it can happen, you know, obviously sometimes you should you should talk about your relationship mm -hmm. so someone can warn you at least but you're right in the sense of it does happen to people where like oh. I mean she was living with him so living, yeah. how was she supposed to know? to know go ahead but I do I mean my second part to it was yeah. I do have situations where the opposite has happened where a guy is about to marry and then he meets a woman he actually falls in love with her okay cancels his wedding okay. and marries her like the, the only truth is like with Nigerian men with men in general there's always that to the very last, last second, minute. making yeah. sure... But isn't that a little bit different where it's not like... We're talking about the person who the intent was, he knows he's getting married to that person, but he's just shopping around because he feels because he can he and he wants to. Men are hunters. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is, yeah, this is why I said that, you know, I would like to believe that the, the modern day thing, mm. you know, is more equipped to, to, know, handle... to find out, to discover. You know, no, you I, say that. I would like to believe so. Okay, okay. I want to because I, you know, I've seen some very naive cases, mm -hmm. and I go like, can't you just, can't you see that this guy is, you know, I think I don't know what I would say. Love is blind. Yes, you know, because I agree. sometimes you find a girl <laughs> stupidly sometimes following this blind. man who has lost his obviously is, he has his game plan already. Yeah. He has his wife in the village. Everything is there, mm -hmm. but she's just blindly. Following this guy, mm. so how do you how do you how do you address ladies like that? Yeah, exactly. I think I think some I think to, to some some women need to be counselled. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, yeah, I, that's I, also I, I think that's a self esteem issue as far as yeah. I'm but you see the thing here, yeah, we have to we have to um, realize that different people handle things differently. There are some people who are emotionally stronger than others. Yeah. So what you can take and what I Someone, can take, somebody else might true, not be able to take true, it. True. And people feed on that. Mm. When you know you can get away with something mm. where someone else is concerned, you do it. You push their buttons to see how 
much can I get away with? I've Since I'm guilty, I've done it before. Mm -hmm. You know, where so I, I'm like, huh, what's this guy doing? What, 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 what will yeah, happen here? Yeah. You know, and he doesn't get upset. And then I'll keep trying. Human beings are like that. It's just that me, I'm no wicked. So, <laughs> <laughs> but what's our yeah. solution now? The friend no, I mean, the my thing is, so it's gotten to the point where she doesn't want, she's tired of dating. dating. So anytime someone now approaches her, she just doesn't want to know because she feels that. Like, that was just one story she was telling me. She told me numerous oh, stories because I was just asking, oh, what's going on? I haven't seen her in a while. How's your dating life? And she was just like, I'm tired. It gets to the point where she doesn't even want to go on a date. So what do you tell someone like that? So huh? She's searching in the wrong places. Uh, yeah, but can I, yeah, I was just about to say okay. that. Does she have a time? Yeah, I know, I know she has a time. Like, she yeah. has a, a Okay, I but love let this me... topic, by the way. I, like, I love what, where we're going. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I like where we're going. Yeah, now. so let me ask these two ladies. Biki, are you, are you single? Yes, I am at the so moment. So, are you single? Yes. So, now, are you? I'm not saying that you are looking, but it's help. I can't find a man. What is the problem with finding a man in Nigeria? Um, I don't really. Why are you think... scratching your neck? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I don't really think uh, um, it's a problem. Okay. I just think it depends on what works for you. Okay. Because there's some women who can take men. How long have you been single? Uh, maybe for a few months. A few okay. months. But you said the thing about me, because of the sort of work that I do, my work is very important. Mm. And if a man cannot fit into the ideology of my life, mm. there's no point in him being there. And mm. those are the issues that I have had. Please. But you know what? When you're not looking, when you're not looking, I've lost now. When you're not looking, it comes. Right? Yeah. When but, you're not looking, it comes. it comes. Because one thing men hate, men hate desperate women. And a lot of Nigerian women, because, mm. you know, you get to a certain age. I mean, my 30s now, and I'm not married. Mm. You know, everyone, society is saying to you, when are you getting course, married? Yeah, when are you getting yeah. married? So it puts a lot of pressure on women. I mean, I, I agree, men hate yeah. desperate women, but don't they also have a problem with... Because you just said, the man, if he can't fit into... They still want people to be flexible. That's so it, is, yeah. that not a, is that not a double-edged sword that, as well? That is, no, but you said the thing here. When I say that, you must compromise for your relationship to work. There has okay. to be a balance. Yeah. But if you've met me being an actress and being a producer and, and you cannot um, be a part of that and celebrate me mm -hmm. and support me, then it's not going to work mm -hmm. because we'll all, I'll only end up being unhappy. And when I'm unhappy, you can't be happy yes, because yes. I'll make sure you're miserable. Well, and I, you know what? This, what she just defined now is the underlying problem that we yeah, have in the society. Because right and now. also it's a um, different generation. It's a generational thing, right? Because, because our because parents... Where we, the, the moms are just willing to put everything aside thin, and whatever, just stay exactly. Mm -hmm. But so. now we have a, a, a group of a, an, an abundance of young women that are extremely successful, mm -hmm. like are all about your business, and that's why. I'm, well, there's a lot of singles. There's a lot of us women that are single. Also. Mm -hmm. We're career women. We've been westernized. We have this idea. Of, well, I'm gonna do me. So if you can't fit into me, then. then but then. that's the idea we're putting out. It doesn't make us bad people. Mm -hmm. But then there's a there's a numerous amount of us out there. So it's like, if I don't want to, I love you. I don't want to deal with that. I can go to her. She ready to stay home and roll yeah. over and do what well, I want. tell you something. See, but no, no, wait, there's, 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 there's a method to the madness and there's also a madness to madness. There's something that we're missing here. Yeah. Um, not because I'm, I'm a man, yeah? yeah. Uh, but when I got married myself, I wasn't perfect. Mm. Uh -huh. All right? I was very imperfect. Yeah. In so many ways. Right? And it's good to look beyond imperfection. I'm just saying, yeah. because sometimes when you paint a picture of what you want, yeah. you know, okay. nature doesn't give you what you want. Yeah. Sometimes when you, when you try to assume and say, okay, listen, I am this type of babe, it's what I do for a living, AKA this and that. I do this to make, a, make ends meet. Yeah. If a man cannot meet me halfway, you know, but the truth is, you know, in life doesn't give you that perfect guy. You know, if you're honest to yourself, you tell the truth that sometimes, we know, we, ladies know the imperfections of all yeah. their guys. They know where these guys are messed up. They know what, exactly. you know, and I think it's, it's kind of like a role for a woman to, you know, to fine tune a guy. Mm. Once she, okay, you know, hold up, hold up, no, hold no, up, hold up, hold up. I have to, let no, me, no, let me have to hold you, let me, hold let me you add, just let me, just, let me just add, please, no, 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 no. because no, it's so sweet okay. what you're saying. <laughs> okay, you could that fine tuning, I want to put that to kick start right, let me part two. Down, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> We're just gonna end it there. You guys have to tune into part two of help my friend come find a man. And Manny's going to tell us about how a woman can fine tune a man. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>